I have traveled the world, experienced different cultures, ate delicious local foods, and seen some amazing sights. Now I want to share my travels with you. On this channel, we will bring you featured destinations, travel news, along with tips, deals, and everything travel. So let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Norman Payne from Up, Up, Up and Away Travel. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about getting through customs, coming from an international flight or going on an international flight. Either way, you're going to have to deal with customs. So, let's get into it. When you leave the United States, you're going to have to complete a form. Usually they give you that form when you get on the plane. Sometime during mid-flight, the flight attendant will bring you a form that you have to complete. The form will have things on it like, how much money are you bringing with you? Are you bringing food? Are you bringing weapons? Things of that sort. Not too much stuff that you have to really dig in your back of your mind to figure out. You should know if you're bringing any of these things. And the amount of money is usually about $10,000. So you should know if you're bringing $10,000 worth of cash to the country that you're visiting. When you're re-entering the United States, one of the things that a lot of people do is they stop by the duty-free stores before they get on their flights. Now, what is a duty-free store? A duty-free store is one of the stores where the duty is not paid. A duty is similar to a tax. The country that you're visiting does not put a tax on foreign goods goods that came from another country they don't put a tax on it so it's usually cheaper than say retail costs and these are items like liquor um, colognes perfumes smoking products as cigarettes and cigars each person coming back into the united states must complete form 6059B. That is the Custom and Border Protection Form 6059B Declaration Form. That form everybody has to complete and it will ask you those questions. How much money are you bringing? Are you bringing live animals? Are you bringing food or live plants? Are you bringing weapons, ammunition? And you don't have to go and dig in your luggage to find out if you're bringing weapons back into the United States. You know if you're bringing a weapon back to the United States. So these things are pretty simple to answer. You have three options of completing these forms. One of them is the flight attendant may give you a paper form mid-flight and you complete it handwritten. The other one is you can complete it if you have global entry. You can go right to a global entry kiosk and complete it there. The third way is if you're coming to a major international airport, they have the automated passport control kiosk. That kiosk has a form right on it. All you have to do is put your passport on the kiosk, it takes a picture of it, and then it will ask you all the questions that's on the paper form. And then you'll proceed to the Customs and Border Protection Officer for your interview. I suggest that if you're purchasing anything and bringing it back into the country, please keep all of your receipts in one place. If you're asked to show proof of these purchases, you want to be able to pull these out. You don't want to have to be digging around in your purse or your wallet or in your carry-on bag or somewhere else looking for these things. It will only frustrate the border protection person and it will probably frustrate you as well, holding up the line for other people and kind of confusing you and things like that. 
Put them in one place and be ready in case they ask for them. If you do not declare something and they find it, you risk the chance of it being forfeited. So I suggest you just go ahead and declare it. Let them know that you purchased something and you're bringing it back into the country. The Border Patrol Protection interview is pretty simple but they have the right to ask you a few questions. Like, are you a United States citizen? Or are you a citizen of another country? Where you been? How long you been gone? What were you doing while you were gone? Was it vacation? Was it business? What are you bringing back into the country? They have the right to ask you this. So be prepared. They are very courteous and straightforward with their questions. The Customs Border Protection Officers have the legal authority to check your bags. They can go through any bags, all of your bags, they'll take everything out, and you will have to put it back in there. But if you feel like that they are not courteous, you can report them. You can report them with this number right here, or you can go to the website, see, bp.gov and make a complaint but usually they are very courteous and professional and you won't have a problem with it. Here are some tips to be prepared for your customs border protection interview when you are re-entering the United States. First off, have your passport and travel documents readily available. Don't be fumbling around looking for them. They're gonna ask you for your passport. Have it ready. They're gonna ask you for that first thing. So have it ready. Usually have it to the picture page. If not, it's not a big deal. But that's what they're gonna ask you for. First and foremost is your passport. Declare everything that you purchase. That makes it easier. Even if it's not going to be a problem, declare. Let them know, hey, I bought this and I'm letting you know that I bought this. Be cautious of things you purchase on the street because those things could be counterfeit. And if it's counterfeit and the border protection officer finds that to be counterfeit, they may confiscate it and then you'll be out of that item you purchased and the money you spent. Items you bought for personal use or for gifts can be duty free. So let that be known as well that you purchased it for a gift. Items you bought for resale is not duty free. So if you bought a bunch of things say from Thailand to resale, you better be prepared to let them know that you purchased those for your store or your online business or whatever the reasons you bought it for to resell. Be aware that some items are prohibited in the United States, like tusks or ivory or tortoise shells. These things are not allowed. So if the, you purchase these things out there, Beware that they might get confiscated when you get back to the United States. Many foreign medications are not legal in the United States. So if you're buying medication from another country, you might get into a situation coming back into the United States. So watch out for that. They might confiscate all of the stuff you bought don't think you're gonna go into another country and buy up a bunch of medications cause it's cheap and be able to bring it back. If it's your medication, I suggest you travel with it in its original container. That way you will have no problems identifying that medication and it should go pretty smooth if you do get questioned about it. If you are planning travel to and from Cuba, before your travel, go to U.S. Department of Treasury Cuba Sanctions and find out what is prohibited and what is restricted on your travel 
to and from Cuba. There are a lot of things that you can and cannot do, purchase and cannot purchase on your travels to Cuba. Bringing back food to the United States is a problem. So know what you can bring back. I personally don't bring back anything that I'm not going to eat on that plane. So know what you can bring back. Well, I got to be honest. I think I do buy some cookies and things of that sort from uh, uh, one of my favorite countries. But know what you can bring back. Do not bring back food that you cannot get through customs. I want to repeat. A border protection officer has the right to go through your luggage. It is to enforce the law. The custom border protection has a brochure. Know before you go. I suggest you reading that before you go on an international trip because you need to know before you go. If you're flying into Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, say from Montego Bay, and you brought some of that overproof rum, you're going to have to claim your bags in the airport. And you're going to have to take that liquor and pack it into your bag. Let's say that your connecting flight is going to Louisville, Kentucky to Muhammad Ali International Airport. You're going to have to pack that liquor into your checked luggage recheck that luggage because you cannot hand carry that liquor on to the next flight now i know you carried it from montego bay to atlanta but you cannot do that in the united states it seemed like it was okay coming from an international country to the united states but it is not okay in the United States to another United States airport. So keep in mind, you will have to take that liquor and put it into a checked bag. Recheck that bag to your final destination. Well, whew, I've given you a lot of information about getting through customs. I hope it was helpful. So, the next time you're getting ready to go to an international flight to visit some exotic country, keep these things in mind. It will make life a lot more easier. That's all I got for you today. So check out my other videos and I'll see you next time. Peace. And please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on all my social media. Just hashtag up, up, up Norman, where you will find my Facebook page, my Instagram account, my Twitter page, and my TikTok page. Check out my blog at www.upupupblog.com.